Hey guys, Jack Swiss here, and today's video is another continuation of a long running series on this channel where I'll list the 5 best drift cars that I've drifted in the game. If you're interested in the previous additions to the series in Horizon 4, I'll link the playlist down below or you can click the car that's displayed, but today's list is going to be focused on the 5 best cars to drift in Horizon 5, and why they're great for drifting. And before we get into the video, like I say on every video, this list is up to my personal experience, research and opinions on the cars themselves, so if I miss a car that you feel is better than the ones on the list, feel free to leave it down below. But with that said, let's get into the 5 best drift cars in Forza Horizon 5. At number 5, I have the Corvette C8, which some of you guys might recognize from my previous list of the most underrated drift cars in the game. And though that title still definitely holds true, this year, I feel that the car is not only massively underrated at drifting, but is actually one of the best drift cars in the game. And with a 7.2 liter racing V8 pushing out 1206 horsepower, you'll definitely see why if you drift the car yourself. Also with its 908 foot pounds of torque and with it only weighing 3079 pounds, you'll probably find that out fast. And not to mention that this car is one of the first cars that you get in the game rather than a hard to find car like last year so the car is literally free and available to everyone who wants to drift tune it. So if you're looking for a powerful drift car that you literally have to pay nothing to obtain, the Corvette's for you. At number 4, I have the Toyota 86, another car that some of you might recognize from my previous lists. However, one thing that's important to note before buying it is that the 1600 horsepower 2JZ swap is no longer available for it, so it sadly will have less power than last year. However, as you can probably see, the 3.4 litre 1270 horsepower 2J swap with 901 foot pounds of torque is still more than enough to make this thing a monster on the mountain. And with the car only weighing a mere 2601 pounds with that kind of power, it more than makes up for the decrease in power that Forza gave the engine. So although it might not be as powerful as it was before, the Toyota 86 is still a great drift car that I'd definitely recommend to anyone looking for one. At number 3, I have the Lamborghini Huracan P, a car that I'm sure most of you guys are surprised to see on this list. But let me tell you, just as the base Huracan from last year surpassed my expectations, the Huracan P well surpassed my expectations for it this year. And with a 5.7 liter V10 putting out 1336 horsepower and 896 foot pounds of torque, I'm sure it'll surpass yours as well. And also, because of its intended purpose being as a race car, this car probably has the most unique handling on the list when drifting, and the best ability to get around corners with the pure power and torque of the engine that I've listed so far. So if you're looking for a car that, while unassuming as a drift car on the outside, definitely holds the capability to be the best drift car in your garage, this is definitely the car for you. At number 2, I have the Toyota Supra Z, a car that, if you've seen any of my videos on drifting in the past, I'm sure you'll recognize as it's in almost all of them. And as you can probably see by the video alone, the car is definitely one that I couldn't leave off of the list. And if you still don't believe me, allow me to point out the mind-blowing 1599 horsepower and 1325 foot-pounds or torque that this 3.4 liter 2JZ puts out, ensuring that you'll never not have enough power to get around a corner. And if you still don't believe that the car belongs, then how about the fact that the car's weighs in at under 3000 pounds? Meaning that this car has more than half of its 2,934 pound weight in horsepower for a power to weight ratio of 1 horsepower for every 1.834 pounds. The reasons are really endless for why I firmly believe that this car is not only one of the best in the game, but the best in Forza history, but I digress. 
So if you're looking for a car to absolutely crush your current drift zone records, look no further than this one. And finally at number 1, I have the Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5, a car that I believe even beats out the highly regarded Supra. And right now, you must be wondering why this car is ahead of it on the list despite me just calling the Supra one of the best drift cars in history. And I was honestly surprised as well when I first upgraded it as I didn't expect it to fare this well. But as soon as I saw the massive 7.2 liter engine swap that put out a downright unbelievable 1689 horsepower and 1245 foot pounds of torque despite the car weighing only 3217 pounds, I knew then and there that the car was destined for great things. And I was absolutely right as even my first run with it immediately after tuning it crushed my previous drift record and is still my highest score at the making of this video. So if you're looking for a car that, while more expensive than the Supra, can absolutely demolish your current drift zone scores, then this is definitely the car you should pick. Did you enjoy the video? If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps out my channel, and I'd really appreciate if you did. If you didn't like the video, Please leave a comment below telling me what I could have did better. And if you have a video suggestion, leave it in the comments, and I'll do my best to get it out. But anyway, I'm Jack Swiss, and thanks for watching.